Tonight's unbelievable, I think, considering the rain, the inclement weather, it's just like crossing the Red Sea with all this water out here. And I thank everybody, truly. I'm amazed that we have so many uh, people. And we have one other thing we're going to do before we go, but I want to tell you that anybody that's a teacher that cares, I tell I've told it to the American, uh, America's Black um, uh, Shield. I've told it to to a ceasefire group, intervention gangs. Wherever I go, I always say the same rap. I, as a teacher, when I have 40 of my students walk through the door, I already know who's going to jail. Before they take their seat, I know who's going to go to USC, Harvard, who's going to go to UC system. And I know who's going to go to juvie, and I know who's going to be the punk that's going to go to jail. I already know. And so we as teachers, and I do blame us, we've allowed ourselves to get hoodwinked and sucker punched by the unions, by the racist administrators. Here I am at Dorsey High School raising the bar so these young people will know what it's like to bite the bullet. How many people win a race when you in a race? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Only one. And if you don't win, you lost. We don't give you a plaque because you showed up and put your gym shorts on. That's what we need to teach these young people. This is America. America is a land of sacrifice, of blood having been shed. And these kids get nothing but dumbed down education, like Stefan said, and a lot of racism mixed in. And I am ashamed that some punk from Mexico that doesn't belong in this country could shoot at my friend, the Shaw's family, their, their kid, and be mollycoddled? My, my answer to that is Tent City. You get, if you get kicked out of school, you're going to send you to a continuation. We'll have some cops there. You keep your mouth shut for the eight hours that you're in that school. You screw around there, we're going to up the ante. So finally, you're going to be in the Mojave Desert, surrounded by concertina wire. We're going to give you two squares a day, but we're not going to abandon you. There's still hope for you. We're going to have teachers there. We're going to make sure when you get out of jail, you have a skill, you can read, you can write, and you say, yes, sir, when you're at being addressed. And that's how we're going to save our youth. Our youth from the 60s, I was a hippie in the 60s, I know what I'm talking about. We were taught disrespect, that we are the world, we are the children. No, no, you ain't the world. You ain't the children. You're nothing. You're nobody. But if you listen to your teacher, you might make it. There's hope for you. And we're going to hold the parents. Ted says, don't blame the parents. Wake up. If you're a baby and you're still a parent, we're going to shock you out of your baby diapers. <laughs> nothing works better than having the parents. I had an hour long talk with Stefan. You want to see kids shape up in school? Get the parents to come in to the class. You're going to see a little angel. That banger who was throwing erasers at me a day ago, who was using the F word at me, telling me he's going to kick my ass in the parking lot, get his parent in the classroom and he'll be a little baby. Oh yes, Mr. Schifrin? Oh, what was that assignment, Mr. Schifrin? Oh, okay. A whole new world out there. But we need to be smart about it. And the last thing we need is political correctness and pointing the finger. These kids are costing us $12,000 a year per kid. They need to produce. There's no room for failure. We're getting sucker punched by the Chinese, the Koreans, the Filipinos. Try getting anything done in this. They, they, they route your call to the Philippines or to India or to Pakistan. I can't speak Pakistani. I want the kids at Dorsey High to take the phone calls. 
I want the kids at Dorsey High to be the, the, the carpenters. So I don't have to depend on some guy making five bucks an hour under the table being my carpenter and all of a sudden the stuff breaks down on me. That's how we're going to save our country. A little bit of bad news. We've let it go too far. The punks are running the show. We had to kick a kid out of Dorsey High that was threatening to kill one of our students. I was, happened to be in the principal's office and she has a two-way radio with Jefferson High. Principal at Jefferson High. Radios to Principal at Dorsey. Sorry, we can't take your kid. He's a crip. We can't transfer his butt out of school because he's going to get killed if he goes to another school. No. These kids come to school in a uniform. As far as I'm concerned, separate the boys and the girls. We don't need boys messing around with the girls' hair, pulling their, 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 their hair, you know, messing around with their, their makeup and stuff. It's draconian. I'm bringing it right back to General Patton. Because we're at war. And we want to save America. Get real. Before you can find the cure, you've got to know what the disease is. And that's where I'm coming from. And I, again, I, I, I hope that you'll join me, Ted. Um, I've got to do something. I'm going to do my friends. Run the fan yeah. of punks goofing around, negatively impacting the curricula and the lesson plans of our, of our teachers who are working their behinds off. This nonsense has got to stop. And we, if I come to school not dressed in a suit and tie, I don't take myself seriously. Why should this be? I'm here to work. I'm here to be real. I gotta look the job. And it's true, even if it's Dorsey High, doesn't matter where it is. This is what we need. If the teachers have no self-respect, no one will respect them. For sure the principals could care less. This is Saul Annenberg. I'm an activist and volunteer to help education. And I've learned a great deal about why students are dropping out and possible solutions on how to rectify this problem. It's costing us, the dropout rate is costing us a lot of money. And if we don't educate, we have to incarcerate, which costs three times more in dollars and cents than to educate. Thanks very much.